Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, we have the famous bug fixing updates or the update preview that was finally released uh, starting yesterday, Friday, August the 29th, and still rolling out. Uh, some people actually haven't seen it yet, but uh, Microsoft does say that it might take a few days on this one to roll out to everyone. So, of course, after the uh, Windows 10 that had its own... Um, bug fixing update and Windows 11 23 H2 we were still waiting for this one so this one has a lot of features if you're on a copilot plus PC including a new recall uh, update so that improves the recall feature as for the rest a lot of the features are not necessarily on your PC yet even though they're rolling out uh, one of the changes is and the task manager uh, where the metrics for the CPU is changed. So before, if your PC had only one core and it was maxed at 100% um, out of all the other cores, because most PCs, CPU today have many cores, so you see here eight cores um, and logical processor 16. So if only one of that those cores were at 100%, it would show that the PC um, is 100, you know, the CPU is used uh, at 100%. So that wasn't really accurate because the other cores weren't doing anything. So now they're actually changed the way that it is uh, calculated. So the utilization is now more of an average of every core and everything, including the base speed. So that number will be more accurate on what percentage it's actually really used. So uh, this is the uh, utilization um, that it will be better. Now, there's also a few things. For example, I don't have it, but if you, some of you might go into the settings and to the um, time and language, then go into date and time. And you'll have a section now that has the option to um, show the um, uh, the um, time in the notification center. So that will actually show up at some point. I don't have it yet, but at some point the notification center will have the clock back uh, here. So um, you'll have the option to turn it on or off depending on what you want. Search uh, from the Windows taskbar as a new grid view in uh, the way that it works for some of you. So depending on how you uh, actually look at things. Uh, there's um, more options for the lock screen for the European economic area where uh, you have possibility to um, customize more of your widgets. So if you um, go into settings, personalization, and go to the lock screen option, you will have more options to uh, personalize the lock screen. So here it says personalized lock screen. All you have here right now, picture, slideshow, uh, status, weather, and more. There's not a lot of options right now, but more will come where you'll be able to customize a lot more what's happening there. Uh, there are some improvements in the File Explorer and Windows Hello, the way that the sign-in and the uh, recognition is improved, actually, uh, for, uh, say, you're using a uh, face recognition. There are a lot of things that are improved there. Um, of course, widgets now will have different options, including multiple dashboards that will be able to, to tweak if you want and so on. PowerShell 2 is gone. Uh, it will now uh, have PowerShell 5.1 or later uh, because that was something that they were thinking about. And they fixed many, many of the uh, bugs. The mirror cast was uh, broken. Uh, so after a few seconds, you would cast to a TV. It would always, uh, you know, stop immediately. Um, audio is improved. There's a... Uh, audio problem where uh, the ability to play audio in certain cases was a problem so that is also fixed uh, there's a login improvement where there's uh, cases where um, you would have a blank white screen 
and it would just say just a moment and um, you would actually take a few minutes before you could log into your PC for some. They fixed that. Kerberos uh, might be an underlying crash in Kerberos uh, when attempting to access cloud file share fixed. And another issue that they uh, fixed in explorer.exe that would be crashing from time to time. So all of these little things, uh, device management, um, where are some system recovery features we're working were prevented from working properly is fixed and uh, resilient file system um, if you had large files that could sometimes exhaust system memory uh, this bug is fixed also and a performance bug uh, they say that this update addresses um, slow application install on arm 64 devices so uh, you know, lots of little fixes here and there and a few improvements in this new version so it uh, actually goes, uh, and if you want it, you go to Windows Update and you ask it manually because if you don't do anything, it won't show up. And uh, if you do go to Windows Update, well, then you'll see it show up. And here is the Kimloaf Update Preview, which is 506.4081. Uh, there was also a .NET uh, update um, for update previews uh, for some of you. And, uh, well, build 26100.5074 is where we are at now with this new update. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching. And if you don't do anything, I'll install with the next patch Tuesday updates on September the 9th.